All right, let's work with manual mode. Um, let's say you already have a solution here and a uh, couple of things that you don't like about it. Uh, first off, these courtyards are much too small. And secondly, this bit of the building mass over here, you'd just like to get rid of it. <clears throat> uh, so while there are some automatic options to get you there, uh, the quickest way is to use manual mode. So I'm gonna click this M button right here in the toolbar. When in manual mode, test fit uh, no longer is going to do a few things for you. Like It's not going to automatically size the parking garage. Uh, it's not going to check courtyard aspect ratios, uh, things of that nature. And you won't be able to use presets uh, once you've gone into manual mode. So it's a bit like if you've used AutoCAD before exploding a block. Um, but with us, it's you've opened up more features, really. Um, they're just different features. So <clears throat> I'll scroll in here and you'll see some orange circles, some white circles. You'll see the building mass highlights. Um, you'll see some of these white guidelines popping up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I actually want to eliminate this piece of building. And I want this courtyard to be open to this street up here. So I'll hover over this building mass. I'll right click it and that deletes <clears throat> that deletes that part of the building mass. So in order to solve the site again, I need to click the M button, toggle out of manual mode, and then test fit will solve the site <clears throat> with the remaining massing. So I'll click the M button again. I want to take over this bit of land with building. So I'm gonna make sure I'm inside the orange circle. This way I can drag nodes. So I'm gonna left click drag this node. And there's some helpful guidelines that'll keep you right at kind of the right spot. And I'll slide it all the way up to the edge of the property line. And I'll click the M button again. So let's say I wanna eliminate this one and do the same thing, right click it. And then I have a single loaded building mass along this garage. So I'm going to zoom in, I'll left click, make sure I'll stay on this garage guideline and take it all the way to the edge of the property. Pull out, click the M button again, and you can see our changes have been made. So let's say I don't want to have an uh, orthogonal building. Maybe I want to have this mass right here in the middle be a little bit off axis. You can do that. So I'll click the M button again. I'll left click drag this node and I'll left click drag this node. <clears throat> now I'm not saying that you would want to actually do this. I'm just saying it's an option and we can do the same thing in the opposite direction. In order to create new building mass, <clears throat> we have a couple of options um, for this example, I'm going to right click to delete this edge and I'm going to add a building mass back in here. So if I'm hovered over this node and not inside the orange inside this white circle and I left click drag out of it, it's going to create building mass that is attached to that node. I'm going to drag it up here to this corner and then I'll left click again <clears throat> or release left click and you can see the mass has been added. I'll toggle out of manual mode and you can see the changes. So I'm, I'm about where I want to be uh, with this particular part T. However, I want to take this edge right here, this corridor edge, and I want it to be orthogonal. Well, there's no option to do that currently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle on our line drawing. And this starts to generate orthogonal lines, guidelines that are coming off of every node. So I'll left click, drag this guy, and it'll snap along to this edge. Click the M button again, things are orthogonal. I'll click my M button one more time. I'm gonna drag this guy up out here. Click it again, and now I'm back <clears throat> to uh, the solve solution. A couple more things. Uh, you can't just take a whole building mass edge and slide it. So let's say I want to make this courtyard larger. 
um, I have to right click delete and then I'll left click out here a little bit further and I'll draw that piece back in. Click the M button again. And now I have a larger courtyard. It's important to note that if you drag a node that's connected to multiple corridors instead of just two, it'll drag the whole thing with it. So maybe I just wanted it to be here. <clears throat> um, another thing to note is you can drag corridors outside of the property line, but when you click the solve button, it's going to be clipped. So originally I just had wanted to delete that, drag this guy over, click my M button again. And now I have a pretty good, uh, <clears throat> pretty good site plan. Um, good part T done with manual mode. Um, I'm going to do another video with manual, mo manual mode for parking. Thanks.